Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Tajapati and in this video I will be solving a Pi Spark interview questions which I was received from my subscriber and the follower through email. So the questions are this. We have name and hobby. This is the input and this is the output. So we have a data frame where we are having these names and hobbies and then we want to get the output like this format. So what here you know what the output is see we have allies and allies playing badminton play badminton and tennis bob play tennis and kick it so we have to make two rows you know if we are having here three like let's say julie julie play cricket carom and uh, tennis then we will be having you know three rows of julie right basically we have to segregate uh, the hobbies of a persons okay like that and then we have you know another question which is we having the data frame like you know city one city two city three and we have to you know make a single output make a single column result and the output will be goa ap and uh, bangalore or b bglr we can call it out so i have created here a script right now what i will do i will try to solve this problem i will write here pi spark dot sql dot functions import col and then i will import over here um explode function okay now what i will do i will write here df1 dot select call of name okay and then here i will use explode i will call explode and explode function and inside this i will pass my second you know column which i need to explode it now do simple display of df underscore one you can see we have the correct output but here the the name is coming as call so i can use here alias right now this is the second question okay i have created here a data data frame and if i just run this then you will see we have the data like this now let's to let's try to write out the program so what i can do i can write here pi spark again i am calling you know some of the functions so functions import uh when i will import here when see when and coles okay now if you can see over here this is the blank or empty cell and this is a ap and this is blank and this is null this is null this is blank so actually what is what they are trying to achieve over here if you you know consider this output this image then they are actually checking first column city one if we have a valid uh, valid you know valid name of a city then we take it from here you know city one otherwise we'll go to city two and then city three likewise if now if you if you see you know uh, in second row right so in city one we have blank so we will not consider it in city two we have ap so you know they selected ap now in in the third row we have city one null so we will remove null we will not we will ignore null and then we have city two here we have blank so we will also ignore that blank and then in city three we are having bglr so we considered over here bgr bglr right so likewise you know i can write a code over here so let's see how we can do so i'll create a new data frame and here i'll use this and then i will create a new column new column is city one and this will be like this call of city one if it is if it is blank right if it is blank then i am then i am using here what i am using here none otherwise what i will do otherwise i will use here call of 
city one right now i have to do this for all the columns so i will use here like this and just change city one to city two here i will do city three Makes sense. I will display df underscore two. Now everywhere we have null, right? Also, I can write the code in a format way like this. One enter and another enter, right? It it's look pretty now. Correct. Now we have the data like this. Now what we can do, we can use here colis in the you know another data frame, or we can use the same data frame also. Df underscore two is equal to df underscore two dot. I can create a new column called result, right? And then what I can do, I can I can use here colis function, and here I will pass. City one, oops. City one, comma call. City two, call. City three. Now let's run this. We have Goa AP and BLR. Okay, so. What we need, I need only a single column. Either I can draw up the city one, city two, city three, or what I can do, I can just select here result. Oh, yep, right. I believe that you have understood. See, this problem can be can be solved via multiple ways. Okay, you can use a switch case spit statement multiple times. You know, on top of you know three three uh, three uh, columns. Like you know, if if city one is null, then take city two column, then city two column is blank, and then go to city three. Like that also you can solve it. But that's not a very good method. You know, if you have suppose a ten columns, then you will not be writing this switch case statement or making those combination every time. Right, so it's better to use a colis over here. So I hope that you have understood it, and likewise also you can go ahead and you know check out my whole series of PySpark interview questions. And if you are liking these videos, I would suggest to check out my courses available on my website called www.geekcoders.co.in. There I have made a multiple project courses like Delta Lake project, ADF project, and Azure end end to end project, Logic App project, deployments, you know testing, every stuff over there to become a perfect azure data engineer so it's your wish if you want to take that those courses you can take it and i will give the link in the description box and also in the i but you can click on the i button to get the link chalo thank you and bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture till then 